hey 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 how is everybody doing it's been a minute i'm gonna try to tag someone here but i am back it's been a minute uh, welcome back to unbothered faith my name is leah lewis and i apologize for my uh, extended absence but i'm back hang on one second i'm gonna try to tag someone because i'm gonna have a special guest on today hey miss brenda okay i'm not gonna be able to tag you ebony but it says that i can okay yeah here we go i'm gonna send everybody oh man this technology ain't gonna get yeah. me today <clears throat> it's adding. Thanks for tuning in, Miss Brenda. Hey, there she is. Yay! <laughs> yes. yes, I couldn't tag you, so I don't, I don't know. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Man. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, however you're watching today. I appreciate you for coming in and taking the time to see what we're talking about. Today we have a special guest, and it's hey, Miss hey. Ebony. <laughs> Hello. And she is the founder of Warring Wise. It's a wonderful ministry that teaches wise how to, what their authority is and how to pray, but she can tell you more about that. Um, and she's also here because we are co-hosting a conference on um, yes. September 29th. So I'll be happy to let you know more about that um, a little bit later in the broadcast. Um, but we're going to start today just talking about the spirit of delay. And we're going to bring bring us in with prayer. So, Father, we thank you, God. We thank you today. We thank you that we are allowed to see just another day, Father. We thank you, God, that you allowed to see the blessings that that we have god even though we might murmur and complain father that you give us blessings of waking up blessings of having a family a home food father being able to afford the food no matter how high it increases we thank you god for the people that you have brought for father we know that no one is here by mistake god they have a need god that you only you can fulfill and i thank you that you use me as your vessel father to speak to them god so holy spirit i ask that you increase in me and decrease so that you may uh, give your message to your people today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So today we're going to talk about the spirit of delay. And uh, like I said, we're going to segue into our conference because I think that this is something that's a common thing. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think that it's identified. A lot of times the enemy is kind of sneaky. And what we think is something that's a normal uh, issue. It's actually mm -hmm. a, a demonic um influence mm -hmm. or infiltration in your mm -hmm. life and so um sometimes we can have spiritually open doors that allow for this so um the spirit of delay so let's just define delay delay could be uh defined as procrastination it could be to stop for a period of time it could be a discontinuation of something it could also mean to tarry and to tarry means to prolong or to defer so that's the definition of a delay it's not deep we all know what it is but just to kind of start on the foundational uh working space of what what mm -hmm. delay is so the next question would be um how do you identify uh, a delay um i'm sorry why is there a delay why is there a delay so just to let you know a delay could be physical in nature so it can be you know in this world you can see how it can affect you mm -hmm. and it can also be spiritual in nature where it's not really seen and not really perceived if you don't have the spiritual acumen to be able to detect it uh, working with the holy spirit so for example there can be delay in someone's life um because of their disappointment in someone or in their mm -hmm. selves like somebody let them down you know um that could be a way um or maybe from the past you have shame or you had embarrassment embarrassment is the emotion but shame is the emotion that you put on and wear you know mm -hmm. um so maybe you're going back from the past about something and you don't you can't move forward um that will definitely cause delay um here's a popular one fear mm -hmm. um fear of anything really um but also including fear of succeeding what if i what if i make this happen you know um it could be fear of failure too right 
Here's a common one that can't nobody say that they have not done disobedience. Yeah. Disobedience. You know, so um that could be a delay. It could be lack of knowledge. The word says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. So if you don't know about certain spirits that can affect your life and slow you down or certain things that you 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 might operate in that can slow you down, then you lack knowledge. Um it could be generational curses. Uh someone's great great granddaddy, you know, grandma, mm -hmm. something like that. So but in general, sin, you can have curses. Um, Double-mindedness can cause delay. You don't, you, you're teetering back and forth. You don't know if you want to be in the world or in the church or what you want to do. Like um, um, identity issues, you certainly will have a delay if you don't know who you are, because if you don't know who you are, then you definitely don't know why you're here, what your purpose is. Right. We can yeah. all agree to that. Um, here's a big one, unforgiveness. I had to work through this one myself. Um, unforgiveness can cause delays. Uh, murmuring and complaining. Remember the um, the Israelites, you know, they went around and around for, was it 40 years? Oh, yeah. 400 years? It was, it was too long <laughs> for murmuring and complaining. Um, mismanaging your, the, now we're going to talk about some physical things that, that cause delay. Mismanagement of finances. Mm -hmm. Your diet. Uh, you have brain fog, you have hormone issues, vitamin deficiencies. Those can cause delay. Why? Because you're sleepy, you can't think straight, you can't get anything done, you can't seem to focus. Um, also, um, what do they say about the five people you hang around? That That's who you are. So that's you're true. in who, your social circle. Um, and then what you meditate on. Um, so if you're not meditating on the word, are you meditating on your thoughts, your worries, your anxieties, things like that? So the word says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 through 23, my son, give attention to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. That's Proverbs chapter 4, um, verse 20 through 23. So it just said in the midst of your heart, though his words are life. So if we don't have have um if we don't have like if we have these hindrances then we can't receive what he wants us to meditate on in, in our heart so proverbs also says in chapter 13 verse 12 that hope defers make the hope deferred makes the heart sick so if your mm. heart is sick then you can't follow proverbs for uh 20 and 23 because the the organ is not functioning properly spiritually or physically and so mm -hmm. how can it properly do its job? It can't filter God's word in because you have too many blockages. So the spirit of delay can stop you there because you're supposed to be able to take in God's word and be able to meditate on it and that produce fruit in your life. So that definitely could be a huge hindrance in our lives and we not even know. Um, so, yeah. So did you have anything to add to that or can you relate to this at all, Ebony? Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I definitely think that women, um, especially, we hear the word delay a lot. Um, and we have to make sure, like you said, that we know what delay means um, spiritually in the word, because the world also talks about delay when things are not really even delayed, but it's in God's timing. So for an right. example, I know uh, one of the myths, and that's one thing, you know, we definitely talk about um, um, in the conference is dismantling world beliefs, right? And so, yeah. you know, in the world, they say it's a delay if you're not married by what, 21, 25. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, <clears throat> no, that's not a delay. And, and mm -hmm. it causes women to get into uh, relationships you know, um, that are not ordained by God mm -hmm. because we are so afraid of, you know, oh my goodness, I'm 35, I'm 40, I'm 50. And so we think that is considered, you know, a delay when, right. like you said, God's not going to send his best for you if you still don't know your identity, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, same way with children, you know, um, we're geriatric by 30 if we don't have children and yeah. we have to understand and read you know we don't want to be Sarah 103 but mm -hmm. you don't have to be you know 2021 20, to um obtain these things that the world is saying we should obtain mm -hmm. you know by a certain age um if we're not in our career you know by 25 you know you don't went to college 
And so um, a lot of these standards that we have pushes us further into real delay because uh, we let depression kick in, we let worldviews kick in to where um, if we don't meet these goals by world standards, Mm -hmm. then um, we allow things to fester when really, if we think about it, God didn't even start his ministry. And I mean, Jesus, not God. Jesus didn't start his ministry to 30. And so right. it's like we, we're trying to um, have these worldly timelines when we really need to be having God kingdom timelines and realize that for real, for real, we're not really mature until 30. Like mm-hmm. 20s, mm-hmm. we're still figuring out life mm-hmm. and who we are. So we definitely need to give ourselves grace um, when it comes to things that we feel is delayed. And we really need to ask God, like, am I delaying it or is he delaying it? Right. And so, um, like you said, procrastination is on us. Mm -hmm. But if it's some things that we haven't worked towards and start doing, then God will delay. He will delay that promotion. He will delay that husband, um, those children, because he wants to make sure we are our best version. Uh, before we connect to anybody, anything that he wants to bless. And yes. so sometimes delays are blessings. So I just don't want people to think that, you know, if you're not um, multimillionaire by, you know, 25, that you ain't working for a Fortune 500 company and this and that. But I don't want you to use that as an excuse and not try to move, you know, right. move and um keep going with life mm-hmm. um, because that's where you will find a uh, God. That's where you will know if you're the delay mm-hmm. or if God is delaying for mm-hmm. your protection. And so, yeah, I definitely feel like that is um, something that we'll talk more about at the conference. That's so good. I love that. You said, are you delaying it or is God delaying it? And that is the big uh, question. Um, so yeah. I love that you said that. And and also, you know, I think too, like we can look around at everybody else and see them winning and seeing people's successes. Oh, and, yeah. you know, it, it it just digs a deeper hole um, mm-hmm. into things and then you reflect on missed opportunities. Um, yes. Yeah. So I think it's important to know the difference. Um, it's, it's, it's okay to be delayed delayed if it's not your time you don't want to go into anything premature right um that you're not ready for that you're going to mismanage or is it going to manage you you know yeah. you want to compromise yourself or compromise and do go by the world standards so i love that and that is something that we're going to delve into deeper um into um at our conference uh it's called cover by love girl chat and it's a women's conference mm-hmm. And we are uh, inviting any and everyone who is 16 years old and up, biological female. Yes. Um, this is for the ladies. We're going to have some girl chat. It's going to be a relaxed atmosphere. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to have light bites. We're going to have a photo booth. So it's going to be cute. Um, yes. But it's also going to be informative. You're going to walk away knowing kind of where you stand uh, mm-hmm. with God, whether you need to, you know, go ahead and, um, you know, have your salvation, your first words done all over again, or you just keep working in the area you need to work on. You know, if you need to shift, redirect, you know, there's nobody there that comes there with an open heart and an open mind um, that will leave the same. Um, oh, no. That's what I do know. So um, what yeah. are you most excited about? Um. I'm excited to have these conversations and Mm -hmm. I love conversating and seeing that, you know, somebody outside myself thinks this way, feels this way, is going through this Um, because so many times the enemy makes us feel like we're isolated, we're alone, we're weird, we're different. And when you're connected to another sister, that's when you realize like, girl, I totally get you. Mm -hmm. I understand. And that just blesses me. Mm-hmm. So I'm just so excited to see these all these women that are coming and that we are connected on so many levels that we don't even know. And so, like you said, to just be able to just pull our hair down, relax, be transparent, um, and just no judgmental zone and just, 
you know, be able to have real group chat. Like, yes. We need it. Yes. Yes. I love that. <laughs> and we're even going to do some exercises too. So yeah, you know, better get ready to not be shy. Like it's not going to be like you're up, you know, in front of everybody doing anything, but just, you know, it's just welcoming environment that uh, invites yeah. camaraderie, like you said, sisterhood, um, because we should be supporting one another. It's not enough of that yes. going on in the world. It is not. And you don't have to know old lady to be able to support her and just be positive. Tell her she's beautiful. You don't know oh, yeah. what someone may be in need of, what they walking through, right. you know, and how much, you know, your compliment, your hug, you know, your, your kindness might bless them. So, um, yes, I don't think there's anybody that's going to walk away, um, uh, without anything. We, we want everybody to feel love. That's the point of the name of the kind oh, yeah. covered by yes. God's love. God's love is yes. tremendous. We couldn't even know it. I it's, this know, is just right? going to be a fraction of it. So yeah. we have um, tickets for sale now and they are limited because we don't have a huge room, um, right. but we do encourage everybody to um, get their tickets as soon as you can. It's for a very low price of 40 bucks. I mean, yes. Friday night, you spend it with some girlfriends, learn some stuff and you leave with some stuff and you get to eat. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, like when I used to um be in the world, I spent more than that in one night. Okay, Ain't that true. Okay. I mean, three dollars was just more for the outfit. Like that was you it. know, it's a... okay, or some, some shoes or something, right. and then come home with anything like exactly. beneficial. So more bondage, um, right? Yeah, bondage. Okay, <laughs> a hangover. Yeah. So. <laughs> So you, you know, know, for three dollars and to come get freedom and the yes. cows, you know, feel empowered and encouraged. I'm like, I'm with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how can everybody <laughs> get their tickets? Yeah. Um, definitely go to Eventbrite. It is covered by love, girl chat. And yeah, um, definitely make sure that you get your tickets because they are limited, like I said. We wanted the room to have an intimate feel, so we purposely wanted to make sure that you know it didn't feel like a huge overwhelming you know conference where we got to come in with our mask on and feel stiff like we want it to be um you know nice and cozy and intimate to where uh we did feel comfortable with being transparent that's true and i think as ladies you know we wear a lot of different hats um some of us are mothers and yeah uh, you know we have our professional uh background and whatever you might do in another organization and sometimes mm -hmm. i think we it's easy to neglect yourself yes and just keep going and you're wondering why you're so tired you're wondering why you're feeling stuck um you know you're wondering why you can't move forward and yeah um sometimes we just have to realize that we have to stop and take uh you know take stock of what's going on like how are we really feeling so this is also a yes. time for us to check in spiritually mentally and physically see where we actually are um, with ourselves and what avenues we need to take so that we can grow and yeah. move forward and not feel stuck because we can take care of a lot of people but you know they say it all the time like when you're on an airplane put your mask on first and then right so yes. you know it's, it's a time for us to kind of take stock of where we are and be able to um get unstuck and get some questions answered and like you said oh, yes. our most favorite thing is debunking myths oh yes yeah. the world will tell you nothing but lies you know sure will. Mm -hmm. and the only thing we need to be comparing ourselves to is who we were yesterday yeah um the only thing that we need to be measuring up our accomplishments our level of our self-identity is the word of god yeah. and like who yes. he tells us that we are all the stuff that's going on in the world is fleeting it doesn't even matter at the end of the day um what god says is what will stand forever and be true mm -hmm. um so we have to rise up and know that we are daughters of a king we deserve to have sisterhood we deserve to take care of ourselves we deserve to to learn how to um navigate this christian uh journey um yeah reading the bible understanding it learning how to pray not the importance of fasting learning about demonic hindrances like the mm -hmm. spirit of the place so um i mean we're, we're not going to be able to cover everything there but at least you'll get some glimpse of you know um what you should be learning and what you could probably possibly tap into so right yeah mm -hmm. so did you have anything else you wanted to add 
No, I'm just excited. It's going to be lit. I'm I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, like Ebony said, um, the tickets are available on Eventbrite. I'm gonna mm -hmm. post the link in here once we um, finish with this live, so that you can easily access it. But invite anybody. Bring your girlfriends. Yes. And if you're coming along, it's okay. You're not gonna be alone when you get there. No. Like, <laughs> this environment is not going to be a mean girl, you know, where you just, right. oh, somebody's going to come and welcome you in. So yes. I just want to um, also give a shout out to Miss Ebony. Her um, her business is called Warring Wives. You can find her on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to learn more about uh, her business and what she does and how she helps wives. Um, and mm -hmm. then this is Unbothered Faith. So I thank you for joining us today. Um, and we hope to see you at the conference. Yes. If you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Um, I will respond. So thank you all for joining, Miss Brenda. I, I, um, my condolences for your the passing of your sister. I pray yes. that you be refreshed. I pray that God lift you, and I pray that that spirit of grief is um is lifted from you just for you to be able to get off that couch and do what you need to do for her funeral yes. um so you don't have a spirit of delay my dear you have grief yes um so we just thank you lord that you will lift her god that you will give her oh, yes, strength lord. father that you will give her hope god and that you will be her joy father and carry her through yes. this journey of grief Thank you so much, Miss Sherry, for watching. Thank you, Cousin Danielle, hey. for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Ebony, for coming. And we will see you guys another time. All right. All right. Enjoy your day. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye. Bye.